Ow, 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 oh, Jesus, okay. <laughs> oh dear, oh, yikes, 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 Okay, I'm even gonna eat through my feelings on that one. Hi everyone, welcome to Old Lady Reacts. I'm the old lady, dragon, dragging old lady. Very, very tired today, I don't know why. I shouldn't be, it doesn't, I haven't done anything today, literally. Um, but yeah, I'm the old lady, otherwise known as Michelle in Minneapolis. I'm a huge movie buff who's been, who has seen, see I can't even talk. I'm a huge movie buff who's seen pretty much everything. I even worked at a video store for a few years, but somehow I skipped over an entire genre of movies. So I created this reaction channel where I react to action and superhero movies and TV shows that I'm viewing for the first time. I thought I'd watch another um, current, like newer movie, and I think that Chris Evans is a hottie. So let's watch The Gray Man. Uh, so this is, it's funny because this is another movie that has a really big split decision on Rotten Tomatoes. Like the tomato meter for published reviews is 46%, but the audience score like is a really high 91%. Uh, so it's not the biggest split I've ever seen, but that's pretty surprising. <laughs> so yeah, it's the Russo Brothers directing. So, you know, it's got really experienced people behind it. And I like both Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans. And I really liked Anna de Armas in Knives Out. So I'm very curious to see what happened with the combination of all these folks that like maybe didn't turn out so well. Uh, the other two writers worked on all the other Russo MCU movies, uh, but then they also worked on Thor Dark World. So, you know, that doesn't exactly imbue confidence. So right before we get started, please support my channel by subscribing so you can find me easily and watch more of my videos. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the bell to be notified when I post the next reaction. So let's dive into The Gray Man. You gonna write that down? I'm not gonna write anything down. Oh, that's Billy Bob Thornton. That's right. He has such a distinctive voice. If you think I'm gonna rat somebody out for Bubblicious, you got another thing coming to you. Watermelon or not. Watermelon things were never my... Remember my forte. It makes you think I want to do it again. You seem like the type. <laughs> You'd exist in the gray. Disposable? Oh, that's why he's called the gray man. How long do I got to work for you? Let's just say you'd be indefinitely useful. So forever, basically. So I have to remember that it's G-R-A-Y, because I'm, I often spell gray G-R-E-Y. I guess I don't know what the difference is between G-R-A-Y and G-R-E-Y. Nice suit. I just wear what they tell me to. I like her suit. It's cute. Something tells me that's not water in there. I have eyes on dining car. That kind of looks like Matthew McConaughey, but it's clearly not. Oh, he's not right above him. He's like, got to go through two floors of people. Oh, he's going to do it close in. All right. <laughs> One at a time. I always feel like though at a big party like that, there's a way that you could sneak in like a little quieter. Like you could be a waitress and get right next to him, bringing him a drink or, you know, like this. Clearly less destructive ways of doing it, but yeah. Okay, so they're right in the middle of where the, all the fireworks are going off. That's, a, that's an interesting set to have a fight. Oh, ow, that would hurt. So I gotta do the whole like pulling the necklace off like that. Look, my dad's a jeweler. Maybe, like, I just had really good quality jewelry. But you can't just do that. Like, you could kill someone with it. You could, ch like, choke someone with a gold chain. <laughs> Nine times out of ten. Like, especially a, the chain that somebody like that would have who has clearly has money and, like, would buy a decent quality gold chain. Like, they don't just break like that. No. No. What about pocket litter? I was going to say, that must be, like, a jump drive or something. They take the shot. Take the shot. <laughs> you might not want to do that when so many people are looking. Like, you don't know what's going to be seen on that. Want to trade? <laughs> this 
Skittles would be worth it, yeah. It does kind of weird me out that his name is Six because um, there is a very famous character named Six in the show Blossom. Maybe if you're a Gen X or you remember that show. And her name was Six because her dad said that's how many beers it took. So I'm going to be thinking of that every time they call him Six. I mean, at least tell me you guys had some kind of exit strategy. We never got that far, kid. So he's just going to have to disappear on his own. They're never going to let him retire. But that's a very La Femme Nikita as well. So I'm seeing like, feeling like this is a bit of a combination between uh, Born Identity and La Femme Nikita. Be right back. That is a very smarmy mustache. Not sexy at all. I'm sending Suzanne to assist. I'd rather you punch me in the dick. I will gladly punch you in the dick. <laughs> Denny, that man is nothing but wrong. Don't be a brat. It's gonna help you clean up your mess. Don't be a brat? You're gonna talk to me like that at work. Lloyd Hansen, Hansen Government Services. Rings a bell. Even his outfits are douchey. Bad ethics, zero impulse control, unsanctioned torture, something like that. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. I want him terminated. Uh. <laughs> Just make it painless, you understand? Those are that. Oh, that was quick. All right. Interesting. Oh, now how would he know that? <laughs> how, would he, how would he be prepared for something like that? Uh oh. That's not good. Is he going to try to grab a parachute and just straight out the plane? No, that's not good. No one to get sucked into the engine. That's not pretty. Oh, the whole plane is coming apart now. You better find a parachute or something, dude. He don't so much care for plane crash movies. That's why I don't watch Castaway very often, because the plane crash movies don't don't make me very comfortable flying. So does he even have a parachute on? He clearly knows what he's doing. He's clearly jumped out of an airplane before, but... Okay. I don't know that I can tell what's going on here. Everything's happening so close. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure how that ended, but okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's not sure he wants to know how that ended. Just had some Skittles. I'll tell you what, <laughs> why don't we skip lunch? You can give me the asset you stole, and I won't have to chop your head off. <laughs> He's kind of funny. Jim, I can kill anybody. Maybe not anybody. We'll see. He's enjoying himself, I can tell. Fitz is starting a mission in Brazil tomorrow which means you are going to babysit. So he knows this girl. This guy's name in Greek. What guy? Just a guy, you know, trying to get a rock up a hill. Why? They made him. Who made him? The gods. Oh, we know what that reference is, okay. We can keep track of her pacemaker from just about anywhere. Thank you. So everybody's gonna basically know where she is. <laughs> He's fighting the guy and they don't have any idea what's going on. Well, that shelf is going to go down there. It's going to be a big crash. You should probably change that outfit. It's kind of distinctive with the red stripes. I'm teaching you to fight through it. Jesus. You know all about notoriety. Don't you? Uh, oh, okay. Trap door. Unexpected. Yeah, unexpected. Okay, wow. I thought maybe something was going to come out of the flash bulbs or something. Even their sentences in exchange for a lifelong commitment to the. So he's gonna, is he gonna try to blow something up? Because that's who he is. That's who you're protecting. <laughs> Does he think those little puppy dog eyes are gonna be effective? Remove yourself from my personal space. <laughs> Thank you. That's a good way to say it. She's very professional in that moment. Good for her. I would not be that professional. Uh oh. Wait, so how does he have the... How does he have the picture of him? Oh! 
Tafelschmitz. <laughs> he's so calm. I love that. He's like, a, he's just like, okay, we'll just do it this way then. You want to do it the hard way? We'll do it the hard way. It's very clever. It's supposed to get you float yourself up to be closer to the thing if it actually floods. I mean, what happens if there's a leak and it just never fills that far? He's knitting. <laughs> Poor guy. Where's the target? Where's my money? Oh, that's not cool. He did you all a favor. <laughs> you just shoot him? Like, dude. He doesn't play nice. I say you better get someone's gun pretty quick, dude. That is an interesting set though, I gotta say. I'm liking the set design in this movie. Oh, 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 right in the eyes. You must be Lloyd. What gave it away? The white pants, the trash stash, it just, it leans Lloyd. It's more of a porn stash, really. <gasps> Uh, it's pretty ballsy, yeah. Oh, <laughs> how did he lose one of his shoes? I didn't see that. Why? You want my foot in your ass? Ah, shit! Oh, who's that? Where'd that come from? Not the trunk. Get in. I could really use a comfortable chair right now. Well, it's a hatchback, so, you know, it's not like he couldn't just climb over it and <laughs> get into the back seat. <laughs> At least he's got nice shoes, I guess. So is Chris Evans' character a non-entity now? Like, it's just like, they just got away from him pretty easily? Oh. <laughs> he's got the flip-flops. Oh. Oh. How about that? That's a very Peaky Blinders kind of haircut. Why are you walking like that? Because I got shot in the ass, Suzanne! <laughs> That's a great... Because I got shot in the ass, Suzanne! They already had me kill an agent. Now it's my turn. How do you know you're not next? Good question. Clerk said it was to a P.O. box in Prague. But he doesn't keep any records, so that's the best we got. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> Did that'll do, pig? Oh, dear. Keep reference, though. Ooh. Players are never good in this situation. Don't go for the fingernails, please. Not the fingernails. Not the fingers. Oh no 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 no! Oh no no no! Oh no 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 no! I don't want to see that. Ouch! 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 Oh, <laughs> no. ow, 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 oh, Jesus, okay, <laughs> oh, dear, oh, yikes, 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 okay, I'm gonna eat through my feelings on that one, damage, this is why Carmichael pushed me and Fitz out, it's a nice shot, pushing him up the ladder, covering his tracks, Somebody very powerful is pulling the strings. So that's how he did it in eight years, huh? It's not exactly on the up and up. And turn on cams. I want this pay-per-view. <laughs> pay-per-view? <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, but he tore it off. So now it works again? Like he didn't break the chain? Oh, dear. They just shoot through the window. They don't try to get like inside the a neighbor building so they could actually see what they're shooting at. See. Oh. Go. Don't do this, Maggie. Open the door. So we're not supposed to be sad about it because she's going to die anyway. So they kind of like preset that up pretty pretty simply. <laughs> oh dear. They should have focused more on the explosion coming out of that round window. It would have been pretty cool. Oh, he actually got caught? Oh dear, okay. Or did he want it to want to get caught so that he'd have their protection, maybe? I don't know. It seems like a weird... Why did they handcuff him to a railing? 
So it's like the the thing I don't that doesn't make sense to me is like the indiscriminate firing of gu- of guns when they're really only trying to shoot one guy. So like get someone with a high powered rifle with a sight on it and like take one shot and put him down. Like maybe I've just seen too many like versions of of uh, John Wick and uh, and Born Identity to to think about. Yeah, it's you know there's some there's some plot holes in this one. Get Bravo team in there. We need more guns. I don't think more guns is what you need. I mean, he's the guy's literally like handcuffed to a railing. He's not moving. <laughs> like he's not going anywhere. So why are the doors open even though the train is moving? Is that a thing? It's an Audi, at least. They like their Audis. These guys all have stormtrooper syndrome, I think. So they're all really bad shots. I feel like the train would stop. Like, you know, who's driving? Like, they don't run automatically. Like, who's driving that train? This will be taught in schools as the primary example of exactly what not to do in asset retrieval. She's kind of annoying. Like, she doesn't have enough personality to be that, to be like that mean and and upset all the time like i mean my ego's a little bruised i would like the opportunity to save you at some point <laughs> it's all right waiting i'm sorry i need someone to see him now i understand how much longer do we need to wait can you tell me he just happens to see it behind the thing, hanging there like nobody leaves their badge they they're like that he should have like tripped her or, or passed out against the person and like Pulled it off of them. We need a ride. I call not trunk. <gasps> oh, duh, lots of hand injuries in this movie. I don't like that. You know I don't like that. You've seen enough of my reactions to know I don't like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was like, oh yeah, <laughs> the things. <laughs> Hit him again before he gets his mind back together. <laughs> I'm gonna bleed out while we have this conversation. Can we just unpack this somewhere else? (laughs) Yeah, maybe discuss it later. (laughs) Pack it and wrap it and we can go. So they go to a vet's office just like John Wick did? (laughs) How much are they gonna take from like all these various movies? (laughs) Oh, his poor fingers, ouch. Yahtzee. <laughs> Yahtzee. There's a couple of good lines. It's a shame that, like, the action is, seem, is kind of nonsensical. You want to make an omelet? You got to kill some people. You're killing a girl? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got a problem with that? You were there two minutes ago. Get the Jenny out. Yeah, so this is basically the end of Born Identity when <laughs> he turns all the power off and, like, goes into their stronghold. What he, they're firing at him and just like he's just dodging bullets. Give me eyes on the bridge. <laughs>, <laughs> he laughs. I love it. Morons! <laughs> it's always fun to see a guy who thinks he's like super smooth just like lose his mind. <laughs> She needs more of a personality, man. I'm just like irritated with Suzanne Chick. Like she should have been a more interesting looking actress or somebody like older or she's just like, oh, she's too twitchy for me. Like you can't be twitchy if you're in this business, you know, like this can't be there. This ain't the first rodeo. Like how did she get to where she was without like. It's like a left take the stairs. What are you talking about? Stop. Oh, he's hit. Uh Uh-oh. So if she has a pacemaker, she shouldn't be doing all that activity either. Oh, he's got it now. Boring. You douche. <laughs> you douche. <laughs> oh, that was an interesting shot. 
See, there's, there's bits and pieces of, of, of really cool stuff here. And then like there's, you know, there's like, oh, you stole that from Born Identity or you stole that from John Wick and you stole that from, from this movie and that movie, you know. I heard a story that from the Russo brothers that they were worried about having to make, um, Chris Evans was playing Captain America. They were worried about making the runs, making him running look fast enough, like that they'd have to speed up the running, but then they actually like recorded him running. They filmed him running and they realized like he's such a fast runner. They didn't have to speed up the film. In a, a maze, oh Lord. So yeah, you can get your way in there, but how are you gonna get out? And I would think those hedges that you could just shoot through those hedges too. It is convenient too that it has lights in it. Do hedge mazes have lights in them like that? He's got some nice arms, muscles going on there. He's kind of built it. Keep him talking. I have line of sight. Nice. She's going to end up saving him again. I met with the bullets. Nobody throws a loaded gun, Lloyd. Good call back to that line, I guess, yeah. We have a lot in common. It's really a shame this isn't going to work out between us. See, that's a good shot. That's a good, there's some good pieces here. So one of them must have a, a weapon that the other one, that's hidden somewhere that the other one doesn't know about. Like, this can't just be a fist fight. Because Chris Evans is quite a bit bigger than Ryan Gosling, so. And he's got a bulletproof vest on, like. Oh, I suppose if there's chlorine in the water, that that would sting, yeah. Oh, and it's like sunrise? It is, okay. <laughs> I heard something, I was listening to Pop Culture Happy Hour about this. That like, they're like, how is this sunrise <laughs> coming all of a sudden? It was like totally dark. And then now the sun is up. And even though the fight was only like two minutes in. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of blood in the water. Oh, Jesus. He's just getting stabbed all over the place. You never talk back to me, you understand? Oh, that's the, I know that guy. That's the the brother from Boardwalk Empire. I can't remember his name. I've seen him in a couple things. <laughs> oh, where did that come from? Oh, her, all right. And you are. Oh, she's just going to shoot him too? That's not cool. A lot of blood. Blood. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of blood. So that wasn't bad. Um, but even with as few action movies as I've seen, I've seen enough of them to know that there, there's not much in this movie that's original. Uh, from the very beginning, him not wanting to kill the target because there's a kid standing by, that's directly from the Born Identity. Uh, as well as the government guy is holed up in a safe house and Six getting his way inside to blow the place up. That's from the Born Identity. The government guy is getting away with it to just start a whole new mysterious like super soldier program like to start another one. That's from the Born Identity. Um, even like him killing one of the targets coming after him and finding out that that's a fellow soldier in the same program. That's from the Born Identity. <laughs> like... Uh, how much did they steal from the Born Identity here? Um, and then it continues from there, taking plot points and ideas from various other classic action movies, like The Abusive Dad wanting to toughen up the two sons. That's right from The Accountant, uh, which is a good movie, by the way. You should watch it. The Daughter Being Kidnapped, that's from a bunch of them. A Taken, Lethal Weapon. Um, even as good as Chris Evans is as Lloyd, the, the quirky bad guy with the funny mannerisms and one-liners, that's from tons of movies. Um, but I mean, it reminds me directly of Alan Rickman from Die Hard, but just not as good. Um, you know, I, I felt like they were trying really hard to make moments that people would make a meme out of or a line reading that would become something that people quote for years to come. But none of those moments really landed that great for me. Um, and I feel like this movie depended too much on that center section of plane crashes and then the explosions and car chases in Prague which is so destructive. I'm so t I'm really just tired of seeing that much destruction. Like Born Identity doesn't have that much destruction and it still works. Um, you know, even, well, even John Wick doesn't have that much destruction. They don't d destroy a whole city, but it still works. Like, you know, I don't know. Like 
They, they didn't spend enough time on getting me emotionally involved in the characters or what happens to them. Like they just use too many shortcuts that I've seen before to care what happens. And then there were, I mean, there were some creative scenes like, you know, the one where Six has to like MacGyver this bomb to get out of the trap that the passport guy caught him in. You know, that was pretty clever. Um, and it's in those mo those moments where it's like either one on one or just him like figuring things out. And, you know, even if it's an explosion or whatever or whatever, if it's it's just when there's hundreds of people involved in this firefight and none of the bullets land like that, that just stretches the reality for me to, a little bit too much. Um, and there were some pretty shots, you know, but this movie is not much more than eye candy stolen from other movies. And the other movies had better plots and characters to help the action along and make sense. So, you know, I didn't hate it, but I wasn't thrilled by it either. I probably won't even remember most of it tomorrow. So thanks so much for watching my reaction. Please take a moment to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and the bell button to be notified when I post the next reaction. I appreciate all your comments and recommendations and arguments. Please let me know if you agree with me or not. I don't mind hearing that you don't. So yeah, that's super fun. Thanks for watching with me.